I'm so excited. So as you guys know, this is the 2019 anniversary doll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm nervous because I don't know if I'm gonna like her. I was really into her concept and the illustration, but I feel like since I've seen photos of her, I'm kind of on the fence. But anyway, we're gonna find out soon. Um, I also wanna provide, provide. <laughs> I also want to say thanks to everyone who gave me feedback on my last video, which was oops, that like no talking box opening thing. I was actually sick, so I didn't really want to talk. <laughs> so I might as well try something new. Oh my gosh, I almost just like cut myself. I'm so silly. I should probably cut away. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, thank you everyone who left me feedback and commented. I know I'm really bad at replying to people. So I'll probably have a reply by the time this video goes up. But yeah, thank you. I don't think I'll do that style anymore just because I like to talk about all my dolls. So what I'm opening this, I have sold Asha just because I expected her to be a lot more, oh my gosh, I'm struggling hardcore. Um, I expected her to be a lot more bright but I felt like she was more mature than I expected. So, yeah, she's gone now. And now, if I can open it, we have, I think her full name is Leading Lady Lucy. Okay, one side has my address written on the box, so that's why I'm avoiding that side. And I'm dangerously cutting towards me. Okay, done, <laughs> finally. I'm also at my parents' house right now, house sitting, so yeah, I'm on like a makeshift tripod. Those scissors are blunt, as you can tell, but I think it's good because I didn't cut myself. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Oh, I've never had one of these before. <laughs> it looks like just a little pamphlet thing. Oh, that's really cute. Uh, it's got some information about some wigs they're selling and calendars. The wall calendar for 2020. It's actually really cute. And that's her. Yeah, I'm not sure, but let's see. I'll put this off to the side. This is a big box. I don't know if you guys can tell how big that is. I'm actually pretty excited about her packaging because I've never had one of these like deluxe, I guess, dolls. They've got like that window opening thing. I don't know if you guys understand anything I'm saying. Oh no, I just. Hi, baby, are you gonna help? Careful. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh my gosh, look. <laughs> There's a little cat on the top. That's so sweet. If you guys can't tell, I'm like a crazy cat lady. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, I want to open this voice <laughs> to build anticipation, right? Put that to the side. I feel like every time I do a video these days, I have rainbow nails on. It's not the same, trust me. Okay, so this is the back of her box. It almost looks like watercolour painting. It's very pretty. Here's the side. It's giving me major like, I'm saying like a lot today. It's giving me major like Parisian apartment, New York living, breakfast at Tiffany sort of pretty thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, maybe I should look at her before I open the plastic. No, I'm going to open the plastic first. Ooh, that's sticky. Okay, oh, this is so fun. Are you guys ready? Oh, she's so pretty. 
I'm excited because I like her. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I love her skin tone. So there's the front of her box. Cute little poochie. Okay, sorry, my camera stopped recording. I need to get a new SD card. Um, anyway, yeah, so here's the inside. It's so cute. And this is a close up, which I was in the middle of doing. She has, <laughs> she has two outfits. I don't know if you can see, it's like a nighty. Oh my gosh, this is useless. I should just take her out. And some bags. And two pull rings because she has sleepy eyes. Oh, she's <gasps> she has a gold stand. The metal is gold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really excited because all my furniture is like gold based, so she'll match. I wish I open her from the bottom always. Um yeah, I don't know what I was saying before. I'm sorry, I lost track and now I'm kind of distracted. Oh, I don't want to cut anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. It's a struggle. Okay, there we go. Um, what am I saying? Okay, yeah, I entered the lot. <laughs> I entered the lottery for this girl, so I was quite fortunate to have gotten a ticket yeah. invoice. Invoice. We'll go with. Oh, the customer support thing is at the bottom now. I wonder if they do that on purpose, knowing that we all open from the bottom, or... <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's the side. Yeah, so I entered, because I loved her concept, but I wasn't sure if I was actually going to like the dollars for her stuff. I thought her hair was a little more pink-toned, which I think everyone thought. There's the inside. Nothing special. But now that I see her in real life, I can see it's definitely like a warm silver. I don't think I would have said pink tones, but yeah, it's definitely warm. Oh, I know what I was saying. <laughs> she has a lot of accessories and they're actually, they look to be decent quality. So there's like a night gown, eye mask, these fluffy slippers that I love. Wait. That's a nightgown. <laughs> and she's got this beautiful dress. The material is quite nice too. And there she is. Baby, I'm in the middle of a video. <laughs> Look at her. Excuse me. That's her little hat thing. Her little bag, which I think is very Chanel-esque. I think those are her gloves. Get to focus. Oh, gloves and stockings, maybe. And oops, her little shoes. And her two pull cords and pull rings. <gasps> oh, look at that one. It has a cute little pearl. And it's got some tags on them. I'm guessing this one's saying it's the main one, and that one's saying it's for sleepy eyes. I cannot read Japanese, so. Little love heart tags, they're so cute. I love these little details. Oh, she has nail polish. I think I lost track of what I was saying again. Oh, look, I forgot to show you guys these. I'm sorry, this is a mess. <laughs> Earrings, and I believe that's a necklace. Yeah, so she has. I haven't seen this many accessories on a new Blythe for a while, unless I missed something. <laughs> but it really reminds me of the SBL days when. All the Blythes had at least a few accessories or two outfits and everything was so well made and fun. Now I feel like the quality has gone down a lot and we're getting a lot of those sort of paper things. And I'm sorry, but even for a hundred dollar doll, it should not be coming with paper things. If brass dolls can come with good accessories, I don't understand why. Baby, you're my name. <laughs> I don't understand why these dolls that cost like a few hundred dollars come with paper accessories. Okay, I'm going to have to move you guys over again because this little cat. Okay, <laughs> I cut out the opening part because, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, I've got her out of the packaging and her hair is kind of scaring me. Oops, and she's kind of pulling something right now. 
So here she is. She has translucent skin and it's very creamy. It's so pretty. I know a lot of people, maybe not a lot, but I know some people don't like the translucent girls, but I personally love them. They're my favorites. I was actually really worried about her lips, like this whole two-tone sort of thing, but it's quite subtle in real life. I do wish it was a bit lighter or brighter, but it's okay. She would just be one of the more mature girls. She's got brown lashes. Oh, you know what? She's sleepy eyes. <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't show you. So her two paw rings. It's like this light gold sort of one with the pearl. It's on a normal white pull cord. Oops. And then there's a pink one. It's so cute. It's got like a, I don't want to say rose gold. It's more like a metallic pink ring. And I mean like these are just paper things. Like I said before, I think they're just instructions, but I'll just keep them on for now. I'm really curious to see. Oh, so they've got both cords going through the normal pull cord. Can you see her hair? It's like, yo, it looks awful. It feels okay though, it doesn't feel too bad. It's quite, yeah, it needs a wash, but it's nothing terrible. Okay, I did not think this through. I need to pull this plastic bit off. Oh, that was easy. Okay, let me just undress her from this plastic very quickly. There we go in there and I'll flip her back to the front so these are her special eyes they're like a champagne sort of color oh, I don't know which one to pull they're kind of tangling in to each other uh, let's pull the pink one oops whoa did you hear that <laughs> it didn't even have a click so there's her lashes very pretty if I can focus. Is that focus? Yeah, there we go. So like a light brown. And she's got very light eyeliner. I think you guys can see it. Now I'll pull the pretty one with the pearl. Oh. Okay, this looks similar to the other one, but different. It's more, it's darker. It's a bit more pink. I think this is the color I thought her hair was going to be. <laughs> And then I'll pull the pink one, if I can get it. She's a very light click. Oh, this is really pretty. It's like a purple, silver color. And her last pair, bright blue. I actually really don't like these ones, the stock blue. I think they're just outrageous. Outrageous? <laughs> I think they're a bit ridiculous. They're just so bright. But I feel that way with a lot of the new eye chips. I miss the days of like the EBLs and the BLs. They're much more subtle in colour, even the orange and the pink. Let's change her to... I like her front facing ones. Let's go that one. Whoop. There we go. And then here's her pretty dress. Actually very well made. Oh, I didn't see her undies. Cute, look, she has little lacy undies. <laughs> Poor girl. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's her. I don't see any problems with her. I haven't heard of many people complaining about defects. I did see someone on the Blythe Facebook page had a little chip on their lip. So her seemed fine. Her eyes are a little bit... I don't know if you guys can tell, they're a bit uneven. This one here, this is a bit higher than this one. Let's see if I can maneuver it back. Uh, I can't tell. <laughs> it's very subtle and I'm pretty sure most of my dolls actually have this. So I don't think it's anything new. Her hair colour, it's not really translating very well on the camera. It looks quite grey. But trust me, in real life it's very, it's very warm silver. I kind of understand, yeah, I think I said this before, I understand where they were going with saying it was pink toned. But I think they would have been better off saying it's warm. Yeah, 
it needs a wash real bad every time i see them like coil their hair and pigtails i'm worried oh that ash's hair was all right Ugh. it's like a mix of slightly greasy yet very dry it does not look cute <laughs> she definitely needs a hair wash yeah i'm pretty happy with her i didn't think i would be i really thought i would keep her in the box and probably end up selling her but i'm very pleased with her i can't get over how cute her skin color is it's very creamy <laughs> How many times have I said that? She has a very soft, dreamy look about her. I don't know why I just took her clothes off. I mean, she's just got a standard Takara body. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, oh wait, yeah, that makes sense. I was going to say, she has holes for earrings, of course. I'm surprised she's not wearing her earrings. I feel like they usually come wearing their earrings, don't they? Anyway, I think that's all I have for today. I'm sorry, it was a mess. I was too excited and frazzled. <laughs> but she's very, very cute. I'm surprised about how much I like her. And I love this little pearl detail. I love pearls, so her full hoods are just so cute. I like the weirdest things. Like, I'm excited about her packaging and her pull rings and pull cords. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much. I'm sorry I didn't open the accessories, but I'm just so OCD with it. I never open my doll's accessories. I think Asha was the only one that I opened all her accessories. Actually, I opened my MSI as well. But that's because I had one MSI not opened and one that I was going to open. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm sorry, I'm not going to open the accessories, but there's heaps of people with beautiful photos of her accessories. So... Feel free to go look at those. I'll just put a little dress there. Okay, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I was literally just about to leave to wash her hair and put some clothes on her until I looked at her nail polish. I don't know if I don't think this is common, <laughs> but look at her thumb. And you think that's a bit off? Look at this hand. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> I mean, she's obviously right-handed because we all know how hard it is to paint our dominant hands with our other hand. Oh, anyway, it's no big deal and I'm not going to complain about it. I just thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> other than that, I think she's pretty perfect. She's really cute. I'm happy with her. Yeah, okay, this time I'm done for sure. Thanks, guys. Bye.